Hello, I'm Sorrel Harriet and this is a brief introduction to the work I'm currently doing which is supported by the SSI. First an introduction, most of my time is spent lecturing at Leeds Trinity University where I lead their undergraduate computer science programme. In 2019 I was fortunate enough to be selected as a fellow of the SSI which gave me the kickstart I needed to launch an independent project examining project process on software dependent research projects. So on the back of that the IMPARS project was born and you can read more about it here. So far I've been collecting mainly qualitative data through in-depth interviews as well as some quantitative data which I'm hoping will give me a vaguely objective measure of relative project success. I've been trying to encourage participants to reflect critically on their project processes, which isn't always easy. Still to do, so I'm entering the second phase of the project now, in which I intend to run a workshop which will aim to enrich the data set and explore some dominant themes. I have started the thematic analysis already, so I just want to say something about that briefly. Although unfortunately there isn't enough time to go into the details here, but what I will say is that every project has its own story to tell, um, and to avoid becoming lost I keep having to go back to the beginning and remind myself how all of this relates to software sustainability. And that means re-examining what software sustainability is, as others have before me. So finally, another thing which seems to be apparent is that project management is a people-centric activity and I believe it's important that we don't neglect this aspect of collaborative software development when we're talking about software sustainability. And what I hope will emerge from the IMPARS project is a strong argument for perhaps allowing a little bit of ambiguity with respect to best practices and being okay with that, provided we're prepared to become a more people-centric culture and to really examine how we're working together and that's it. Please feel free to get in touch with any comments or contributions um, and I hope that you enjoy the rest of the unconference.